Good morning and welcome back to the channels boys and girls. I hope you're all well. Now this is another uh, vlog. The footage you're seeing is from me riding round uh, Aberystwyth in Wales. Um, nice sunny day unlike what the weather we have at the moment. However I thought I'd brought, bring to you a vlog about the YouTubers I follow and why I follow. Uh, but before we get to that, as you know, I've just um, created a Facebook group. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave a, a picture on the screen now so you can see what it's called. So, yeah, if you'd like to join, there's only a few of us on there at the moment. But, you know, I'd like to try and get, if I can get most of my subscribers to uh, join that, then we can uh, communicate on a more of a sort of one-to-one -one level as such. So, um, it's only for subscribers. So, yeah, if you could look into that, that'd be great. You know, obviously, I'll show you a lot of my bike content. But, yeah, let's see some of yours, eh? Anyway, on to the vlog. Um, obviously, the Triumph have released that special edition. What do you guys think of it? The Triumph and the Breitling uh, Swiss watchmakers. They've done a special edition. Yeah, another Triumph special edition. Um, I believe they're already all sold, um, which is which is crazy. And because it's priced about sort of six thousand pounds, um, more than the standard bike, um, yeah, two hundred and seventy limited edition ones, um, for twenty twenty three model year apparently, um, so yeah, people who have ordered them will be getting them sort of August twenty twenty two apparently, and they'll have a special edition number stamped onto it. But, yeah, I quite like the paint scheme. Um, I'll put a picture on the screen now, just so you can see what I'm talking about. I think it looks pretty cool, to be honest. Um, the colour is based on the old sort of uh, Thunderbird colour. Um, so, yeah, it resembles like the, I think it's the original, it's 1951, the Triumph colour. So, and it's got um, sort of blue dials and things like that. Um and some you know engine case badging there's a seat with an embroidered um brightlings logo and stuff on but all in all i, I you know I, I've, I've looked at it a few times and i'm just like i can't see how they can justify that price i know it's limited edition and you can actually buy a watch that matches it as well but yeah it seems like a crazy price increase considering they seem to be bringing out special editions of all triumphs all the time the only thing I quite like is obviously it's got the fully adjustable Olin's twin shocks on the on the rear, uh, which obviously is a great improvement on the rear suspension. As I said before, I, I'm fine on the standard suspension, but that's just my style of riding and my weight really. So, um, but I'm sure if you did upgrade, obviously it'd be a huge difference. But yeah, I just wonder what your thoughts are on it. I, I just think they're pumping out a lot of limited editions and stuff at the moment. And, yeah, they're cashing in, really, aren't they? Happy days, you know, six grand for a nice paint scheme. Don't get me wrong. As I said, I love love the look of it. So, um, but I, I couldn't justify that over the standard price of a, of a Speed Twin. Anyway, yeah, let us know what your thoughts are in the comments on that. And, yeah, we'll get to the main part of the vlog on the YouTubers I follow and why. Now, the followers I follow on youtube you know I, i'm into my cars my formula one things like that so i'm going to keep it basically just to uh, motorcycle vloggers however you like to know what car ones i look at as well um yeah obviously comment below and i can do a video on that if you like um but yeah obviously the top one which is the main one for me which uh, pushes out quite a lot of content is the mist and flyer now, I like his content. He is obviously a Speed Twin owner himself. Obviously a Triumph fanboy, he admits it himself. But I like his diversity on the different style of bikes he actually owns. Um, from his Goldwing to his Speed, Speed Twin. Um, obviously, he just stole his uh, Street Triple, didn't he? So, but, yeah, I quite, I quite like it because, obviously, he's got a range of different style, style bikes. Um, and he regularly pumps out content. And, uh, yeah, obviously... That's that's the first one. Obviously, he's UK based as well. So, um, so yeah. So it's Mr. Flyer. It's one of the ones I follow. I then follow who's next on the list. No particular order, by the way. Username Kate. 
I think she's got like 30, nearly 40,000 uh, followers. Um, but yeah, she's, she's brilliant. She's always out on the bike doing uh, new bike reviews. She's going on road trips. And that is why I fo fo follow her. She's, um, yeah, she's always gallivanting to different places and doing different experiences on different bikes. So, um, and I, I love a nice road trip. So, um, yeah, I've been just following a tour around the NC500 with her partner, Mike. And, yeah, no, she's absolutely brilliant and definitely worth a subscribe on her channel. Uh, who else is on my list? Uh, Lamb Chop Rides. Yeah, he just makes me laugh. I love all his projects. Um, it, he, he's just mad, isn't he? So, <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, Need for Speed is that guy. Obviously, he's got, you know, all sorts of different bikes from, you know, from his new Suzuki he's bought, which he's going to uh, put on track. You know, he had the, the BMW RR he had all last year, you know, from that to, you know, his H2 and things like that. But he's into his modifications and things like that and garage vlogs. And I quite like that, you know, it's... Uh, even though I've probably never owned some of those bikes, it's the fact that I, I, I love seeing people work on bikes and improving them, modding them in their own own way. So, yeah, so that's another one I follow. Once again, another UK uh, YouTuber there. Who else then? I'm just scrolling through. Uh, I also follow Fan Blam. He's obviously a speed twin, twin owner. Um, his videos are phenomenal. He puts so much time and effort into the quality of his videos. He always mentions that. And, you know, if I had the time, the expertise and stuff like that, I, I would try and do the same sort of thing. But with a young family and stuff, I, could, I couldn't, couldn't even try and do that. But, yeah, his road trips are phenomenal. And he's doing quite a few, like, bike reviews now as well, which is great. Um, so that's another one. I think he's on about between four and five K followers. So, you know, he's not missing a flyer or anything like that, but he does steady content and it's really great quality, especially put it on the telly, you know, it's it's the scenery and these uh, drone shots are amazing. Um, another one, English Biker Dan. Um, he, he's, he's another great uh, a YouTuber in Britain. Um, he's, yeah, he does all different types of bike reviews. Um, and he's quite honest with his reviews. If he doesn't like something, he kind of does uh, say it. But yeah, I, I just I just love his uh, enthusiasm and stuff with his bike reviews. And he doesn't change his style all the way, all the way from different different ones where some of them people do. Um, so yeah, no, that's another one I follow. Uh, Moto UK, I follow follow him. Once again, he's always out on his bike. <laughs> up in the Lake District and stuff like that. And I love the Lake District. I go there quite often on holidays. So, uh, yeah, it's funny seeing uh, seeing all the sights, but on a, on a bike. I've never rode up there myself. So uh, one day I will try and venture that way. And another person who's up that way is JBL Motor Vlogs. Uh, Jake, I think he's all about four or 5,000 subscribers now. Um, I started following him when I had my MT-07 because he had one as well. Um He's now on a KTM, um, on his latest bike now. But yeah, I just love his, his trips out. Once again, it's all about the road trips for me. Um, going to nice scenic places and puts the drone up and things like that. And yeah, it really, uh, it really, you know, does good quality videos in that respect for his trips out. Uh, another one, Andy Mancam. He's based like Germany way, I think. Um, Obviously, any all these uh, YouTubers. Obviously, I don't know them from Adam, but these are the ones I follow. His footage going around like the Swiss Alps or all, all kinds of European road trips. Yeah, his footage is it's just top notch. It's it's so clear, crystal. Um, yeah, I think it's four K, but he, he, it's his camera work is absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, once again, it's another road trip kind of uh, YouTuber, which is what I like. Um, who else? Teapot one, he's great. He, he he always comes across like he's a good laugh, and uh, yeah, obviously he does lots of road trips and things like that as well. And um, so that's another one which I like to follow. 
uh, Mr. Darcy and the old man. Now, they're, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger, their, their channel. And it's like a father and son combination, if you haven't um, found them yet. But yeah, Mr. Darcy and the old man. And they've got quite a few bikes coming up, according to their latest videos. Um, so yeah, they're an up and coming uh, YouTuber. So I definitely uh, would watch that. Um, who else? Richie Feeder. Once again, he's always on road trips. Uh, Eddie Set Go. He does really great quality uh, reviews. So he's well, definitely worth a follow. Uh, then I follow some of the mainstream ones like uh, Bike World, MSN, and things like that. Uh, 44 Teeth, they're another um, big uh, YouTuber in the UK. Uh, they've got, yeah, quite a big following nowadays. But yeah, I love their budget bike battles and things like that. And yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're just mad. <laughs> but absolutely brilliant and definitely worth a follow, especially when they were doing their lockdown videos, you know, when we were all stuck inside. They, they were, they, they yeah, every, every, I think it was every Monday. Brilliant. Hour long show. So uh, don't take anything serious. And yeah, they do a lot of stuff with track days and things like that as well, which is great. So yeah, I love, love watching those videos. Uh, Captain Rumbunctious. I like watching his uh, his videos. Obviously, they're usually on road trips out um, and things like that. He, he doesn't post quite as often as he used to, I don't think, on there anymore. But yeah, when I was first looking for my Triumph, obviously he was test driving a load of Triumphs. So I watched quite a lot of his videos. Um, so yeah, all in all, I probably have missed a couple, but that tends to be the main ones I follow. Um, just looking through now. So yeah, the rest of them are all uh, car videos, car uh, YouTubers, sorry. So uh, yeah, anyway, obviously, if, if there's any ones I've missed out which you think I would enjoy, obviously, yeah, put those in the comments and I'll check those out. Um, if you're obviously going out this weekend, enjoy yourselves. And um, I will catch you on the next one. Hopefully I'll be out on my bike soon. <laughs> catch you later, guys. Bye.